What's crackling codelets? So some of you may have run into this problem where you're trying to connect to your MongoDB Atlas uh, URL and you get like an authentication error, uh, some type of error that's referencing like maybe a bad username or password or just bad authentication in general. And so when you go to connect to your cluster and it gives you this string right here, this is the one that you would copy and then of course you would replace the less than password greater than sign with your actual password. But what you want to do is make sure that your username and your password are URL encoded. And it even tells you when entering your password, make sure that any special characters are URL encoded. So actually your username will probably not be URL encoded because I don't think they allow special characters. So in that case, you'll just want to worry about your password. So your password needs to be URL encoded. So what does that mean? Well, if you click on this link right here, then it'll take you to this page. And it tells you special characters and your connection string password. If you have special characters in your connection string password, you must encode those characters. For a complete list of special characters and their corresponding encodings, see the ASCII codes table. It tells you to use the corresponding hex value for the characters, and it even gives you an example here. So if you have an at sign, that's a special character, or you have you know, these quotations, or you have this exclamation, then you can see that it does something here. It changes it to a percent and then a, a number of combination, two numbers. If you want to support devsprout.io, then check out this Chrome extension that I created. You can add it to your browser with the click of a button, and then once it's installed, you can go over to udemy.com, and any time that you're thinking of buying a course, let's say you're just checking a course out, the extension will notice what you're doing, and it'll actually redirect you to the same course page, but it'll add my affiliate ID to the URL. So you can see here, it's added my ID to the URL. And now if you do happen to buy that course, I'll make a small commission off of that sale. So if you go over to this link here, it takes you to the ASCII codes table. And in the middle of each one of these rows or each one of these columns, the middle column is hex. And what you'll do is you'll use that to match it up to the corresponding symbol. So if you have an exclamation, then you'll do percent 21. Or if you have an ampersand, you'll do percent 26. Okay, well going back and forth and trying to figure that out is not the simplest thing it's kind of time consuming especially if you have multiple special characters so the other option is you could go use something like url encoder where you just type in your password and then you hit encode and it gives you the url encoded version of your password but who knows what they're doing with this data here so you may not trust this website fine no problem so we'll close that out what you can do is open up the chrome console clear this out and inside the chrome console you can use a method from JavaScript called, let's see here, I think it's encode URI component like that. And then you can see I've already put some junk in there, but I'll just put something new. So let's say that this is your password, which by the way, this is a terrible password. Uh, but anyway, encode URI component is the method. You pass in your password as a string with all its special characters and you hit enter. And this is your URL encoded password. So then you just copy what's inside of the double quotes. You go back here, you copy this string. So if I open up, let's say a new code editor here, we'll just paste that in for safekeeping. We'll go copy this URL component and basically somewhere in your application, you're going to have like a mongoose.connect and the first argument is going to be this string. So then you'll take this password right here that's URL encoded and replace less than password greater than with your newly URL encoded password. And now you should be able to connect to Mongoose in your JavaScript application without any errors. So that's it for URL encoding your password with MongoDB Atlas or really anything else that requires you to make your whatever it is, username or password uh, URL safe. That's how you do it. The method is encode URI capital C component and then you just pass in a string value here and when you hit enter it'll give you that encoded string. Thanks a lot and we will catch you in the next video.